The Labour Commission says they have secured an injunction against you, ex parte, and you are supposed to get back to the classroom and ensure that you conduct exams. Uh, what's going to happen in the next 10 days? Yes, I want to say thank you very much, and uh, good morning. Uh, what is going to happen is that, I mean, I, I believe the Labour Commission knows that as an association, we have our constitution, and so the way things works. We have received it, and obviously we need to get together as a National Executive Committee of Utah to look at what they have presented. We are also in legal with our uh, lawyers to advise us. And so as law-abiding organization or association, of course, we will look at it. And whatever the National Executive Committee of Utah says, we will respond to them appropriately. But, but tell me this is not true. Uh, I'm hearing you guys say that a professor at the university teaching uh, is earning uh, something in the region of 5,000 Ghana cities. And I ask myself, how is that possible? Um, that amount a lawyer basic can earn in two, in two hours, talking on phone. Something that is uh, pathetic, isn't it? And we have, uh, the documents are clear. I mean, it is actually unfortunate that we need to come up with these figures to the public to see, but you see, when people want to suggest that you are living well and you know yourself that things are not all that well, you can only let them know what the realities are. And that is exactly why we have a government attempting to negotiate with him a conditional service we presented to them some four years ago, four years ago. Hmm. And they have always been hiding behind the fact that there is something called market labor survey they are supposed to be doing. But something, the question we have always asked is that, how can we be suffering from the inefficiencies of somebody? If you are supposed to do a job so that I could be well-placed and you have not done it, why should I be suffering? But, and so but, but, so but, why, but why the choice of this time when you're, you, have, you have taught your students and they are just about to write exams? I mean, uh, you have a point there, but of course, you really need to put your right foot forward at the right time, isn't it? Uh, if our strike is not going to affect anybody, why would we want to go on strike? And so I don't understand, uh, the students really do understand that <laughs> they are the only bargaining chip we have. And that is unfortunate, but we need to do that. Is there a sense that you are going to get what you are asking for anytime soon, even though it's taking four years and you haven't had a good response? Well, I, I, I want to believe that we have been overly magnanimous over the years, and that is why people have not shown any seriousness towards the resolution of issues that concerns you type. These times with the resolution from our people, they have given us the mandate to go all out, to insist on what is due us. And so with this uh, mandate, <laughs> we can only hope that government will begin to sit up and do the right thing. Mm. So 